Hey everyone, Ryan the Metagross Freak here and welcome to a Transformers Theory video. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about one of the Transformers series I watched a lot when I was growing up, and that is Transformer Cybertron. Uh, Transformer Cybertron was known for having actually pretty decent animation compared to Energon. Um, it also had really good dubbing, again, compared to Energon. I think it's safe to say that just Energon was a bad series. Cybertron made up for it. They had great dubbing, uh, pretty decent plots for a kid's cartoon at the time, as well as all of the uh, all of the figures were accurate to the show, and that's because the show used almost identical models to the basically the 3D model used for the figures. So the big plot point in Transformer Cybertron was around these. These are the Cyber Planet keys, or if you were watching the Japanese version, which was called Transformers Galaxy Force, they were referred to as Force Chips. Anyway, these little devices, when plugged into a Transformers port, would allow some kind of action to take place. Uh, for some Transformers, it allowed weapons to flip out. For some, it created lights or sounds. It depended on the figure. Um, personally, as some of you may know, favorite character in the Transformers Cybertron figure line was my Sideways. Um, Sideways has been always kind of a favorite character of mine, not because he's necessarily like extra special, um, but you know my favorite characters being Soundwave and Shockwave, you know Sideways always kind of felt like he was part of that trio, and in Transformer Cybertron he actually was. Sideways was a survivor of the mysterious Planet X, along with Soundwave. Um, turns out there's actually a whole army of characters known as Noise Mates, which are kind of a an Omnicon clone army in a way, of deluxe class sized figures that were basically just a repaint of Sideways. And Sideways was kind of the uh, Alita One, or the RC, of the Noise Mazes. The only other survivor of Planet X was Soundwave, and this was one of the few Voyager-sized sound waves. So what exactly is so special about Planet X? Well, according to Transformers lore for Cybertron and Galaxy Force, uh, Planet X was basically a rival planet to the planet Gigantion. Uh, Gigantion was basically a planet huge on construction. Planet X, on the other hand, and that's what it's canonically called, Planet X, was the rival planet. They were basically next-door neighbors in their solar system. And Planet X seemed to be focused on taking control of other planets. In lore, they, Planet X and Gigantia have a huge fight, and basically the result is opening up a space bridge. Uh, the space bridge sucks up Planet X and Gigantion, causing Gigantion to get separated from the other um, primary planets in the Transformer Cybertron's universe. And Planet X seems to pretty much just be destroyed. It was then afterwards that Soundwave and Sideways, being the only survivors, uh, plotted with Unicron and basically pledged a thousand years of service to Unicron basically being his heralds and his soldiers in exchange for Unicron helping them get revenge. And that's kind of implied to be uh, one of the main factors behind the Cybertron Galaxy Force Unicron Singularity. Basically it's sucking in planets and one of the planets that will be sucked in is Gigantion. Um, however, it just so happens that at the very beginning of the series, those thousand years are over, and so Soundwave is free to basically just do whatever he wants. But Sideways, for some reason, still seems to be very loyal to Unicron and the Decepticon cause. So why is this important? Every Transformers character in uh, Galaxy Force and Cybertron is able to access one of the Cyber Planet keys, regardless of whether it's an Earth key, a Cybertron key, a Velocitron key, a Jungle Planet key, I don't remember what the Jungle Planet's name is, or a Gigantion key. But there are other keys too. Uh, for one, Vector Prime has his own key. It's a very clockworky key, and it even has the symbols of the four main planets with a fifth little bubble. Huh. Was, was there supposed to be a fifth key? How strange. Was was Cybertron 
one of the keys? Well, we know for a fact that Cybertron has its own key, but all of the Cybertron keys, regardless of whether they're Autobots or Decepticons, have the faction symbol instead of the planet symbol. Huh. Well, maybe there's a key that was lost. Well, what other planet is there? Planet X. Well, that's impossible. There isn't, you know, the Soundwave and Sideways come with their own key, and it's a... Oh, wait a second. Soundwave and Sideways, they have their own shape key. In fact, no one else in the Cybertron and Galaxy Force line has this shape key, just being silver and orange and of shape. But it doesn't have a symbol of its own. Or, or does it? If we look at the deluxe sideways figure, and by extension, the deluxe repaint called Noise Maze, they have this symbol right here on their chest that, well, it, it looks a little bit like, looks a little bit like Planet X. I mean, Planet X had those rings around it, and that kind of looks a little bit like Planet X, right? Well, that, that must just be a coincidence. Let's look at Soundwave. Oh, well, Voyager Soundwave has a similar symbol on his cockpit section. Huh. They're the only two characters from Planet X, and they both have this symbol. Maybe that's the symbol for Planet X? And maybe since Planet X was destroyed, maybe the power of its cyber planet key was dispersed to the other four keys, or maybe it was just given to the Gigantian key, which would explain why the Gigantian cyber planet key is so powerful. Huh. But well, wh why wouldn't that be referenced? I mean, on in the Primus toy, on Primus's Omega Lock, there's only four spots for keys. And we know Primus created the Omega Lock long before the Cyber Planet keys were lost. Maybe the Planet X key was a backup? I mean, if you only have four priceless artifacts, it would make sense that you'd have a backup just in case one of them is destroyed. And that would make sense why there's a Cybertron key, too. The Cybertron key might be a, you know, if all else fails, you know, this one will work, but only if the uh, only if others are destroyed. I think we're onto something. So maybe Planet X used to have a Cyber Planet key of its own, but after Planet X was lost, well, it wasn't needed anymore. That would explain why the four remaining Cyber Planet keys, or at least the four primary keys, are so powerful, and why the Cybertron key almost seems kind of like an auxiliary key. But it just kind of seems like, in the long run, characters who use a Cybertron key tend to have a little bit weaker of Cyber Planet key powers. Anyway, this has been a Transformers Theory, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below if you want to see more videos like this, or if you have a comment regarding the theory. Until next time, I've been Ryan the Metagross Freak, and I'll see you around. Bye. In fact, this shape key